Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video um, with five tips on how to source VCRs. Um, I haven't been doing this very long, but I've bought quite a few now, and I've just learned a few tricks um, that I thought would be useful. So, number one, here we have a VCR. Rule number one, give it a shake. Like, you'd be surprised how often you just hear <laughs> something in there that's not where it should be. Um, it's like the quickest thing you can do when you first see it, just do it. It's real easy. Um, takes no time and if you hear something crazy in there then you can move on and you don't have to waste any more time on it. That's number one. Okay, rule number two, this is probably the most obvious one but it is what I do next after um, picking it up, is I look it up. <laughs> it seems kind of obvious but it is actually the most important thing. So, almost all of these are going to have a model number somewhere on the back. It'll say model number. Um, it might even be on the front, so you can look there first before maybe before flipping it around too much. But it'll be on there. Um, so then you just plug it into eBay, put the um, manufacturer and the model number in there, and go to completed listings. Not just sold. Go to completed. And you should see ones that sold and ones that didn't sell. If you see all green, that means that pretty much all of them are selling. That's good. You want to see a lot of green and you want to take note of those numbers and kind of get a sense for what the average is of all that and what you might be able to price yours at and how much you'll make depending on how much you're about to pay for it. If you see a lot of red, they aren't selling. That means that they expired and nobody bought them. So you might see one green but it's in a sea of red and that means that uh, a fluke happened basically so you don't want to buy one like that that's just not desirable that's number two number three is ask about the remote okay so this is for two reasons one is you want the remote um, if you can sell it with the remote that's just a little bonus um, it's not required but it's also a negotiating tactic. So if you're at a yard sale and they're selling it for, let's say, 10 bucks, and you notice you don't see the remote, you can ask about it and say, do you have the remote? And most of the time, if they don't, they'll be kind of disappointed because, you know, they always come with a remote and that's just a little thing that's like, eh, maybe it's not worth the 10 bucks I'm asking if he's asking for the remote and I don't have it. Um, so you can maybe get it for five if you do that. It's still worth it. Um, like I said, there's universal remotes out there. People can, you know, you can sell a VCR um, without the original remote. That's fine. Um, so ask about the remote. That is number three. Number four is just ask if they've tested it. So it's another negotiating tactic, really. Um, it's twofold again. If they say yes, they tested it, and they tell you that it works, then you're a little bit more sure about what you're buying, and no harm, no foul. Um, they might be lying to you, but oftentimes they're trying to be pretty honest. Um, if they didn't, because honestly, as easy it is it, as it is to test these, many times they haven't tested it. It's been something that's been sitting in their basement for years. They probably don't even have a VHS tape anymore. They forgot how to hook it up, they don't have the cables, who knows what, right? But it's another thing that's like, well, I don't know if I'm selling this guy a good VCR or not. Maybe I should, like, be flexible on the price I'm asking. So, that's number four. Ask if they've tested it. Number five, and this is the final one that um, I've been really having good success with. Now, this is only when you're sourcing from, like, a Goodwill Bins outlet store. Um, when you see one of these big boys laying in the bin, um, I grab it right away and put it in the cart and I do number two, I go and look it up. But once I've decided I want it, you're going to pay for this thing by weight, right? So they're pretty heavy um, and you might end up paying over ten bucks for it um, based on the weight, maybe more. So what I do, and this has worked for me most times I've done it so far is I take it up and I say, you know, I'm a little worried about how much this weighs versus how much it's worth. And they'll weigh it and they give me a deal and I've gotten them for five bucks almost every time. So they basically give you a little over half off. Just kind of seems like they all know that 
you know, you're taking a chance on the VCR and it weighs a lot, so, and, you know, they're at a point where they want to get rid of it. So, ask for that at the bin sales. And that was number five. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do another one like it for another type of uh, item, and maybe I'll do a video on selling these. I think there's a few tricks to that too. Okay, thanks a lot.